Hi guys, this is Unit 1, Module 4, Reasoning and Proof. Now the language, language objective is that students fill a chart explaining the meaning of conditionals, counterexample, and conditional. Now for your entire year for geometry, you're going to be basing a lot of your work with proofs. Now with proofs, you have a situation like this. So here's your example. You're going to have a t-chart, okay? And it's a terrible, ugly t-chart, I know. But on the left, you'll have your statements, okay? What you're setting up, that's where the algebra will also go. So your statements will be on the left and your reasoning will be on the right, okay? The Greeks used this process for thousands of years um, and to argue, okay? And anybody can make a statement, but backing it up with logic, that's what was valued back then and still today. Now, definitions. A conjecture is a statement that is believed to be true. So, statement to be true, well, that's also similar to what we said earlier about postulates, which are also statements you can accept to be true. So, this is a little bit more of a geometry concept for postulates, which is basically just conjecture. You see conjecture in legal terminology and also with logic and logic classes, which are pretty, pretty enlightening. Okay, so you can use reasoning to investigate whether a conjecture is true. Now, inductive reasoning is one of these types of reasonings to investigate conjectures. Now, this is uh, the type of reasoning where you look at specific cases, okay, to set the tone for seeing if conjecture is true. So you probably know a situation off the top of your head, and then you would say, well, what about this one case, and it worked, and it would work, okay? So that's what you would use. Uh, for inductive. Now, deductive reasoning is basically saying all cases, okay? You're using logic to say that all the cases, not specific, but all the cases are going to be true, okay? For example, you would probably use gravity to explain why all the humans are on the ground right now unless they're in an aircraft, right? And they're fighting against gravity. That would be deductive reasoning, okay? So, we're all standing on the floor. This has to be the floor because gravity is all pushing us down. That's deductive reasoning. Now a counterexample, okay? Here's an example to show the conjecture to be false. Okay, so if I was to say, well, we're all you know on the ground because gravity's pushing us on Earth, and then all of a sudden somebody's just floating around and going, wait, I'm gonna use inductive reasoning to say there's a specific case here and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use a counterexample. So if somebody's floating around, and it's like, wait, why is he floating around? And then you realize, well, we're all on a on a spaceship or something, and we're all just strapped with Velcro on the floor. Okay, so that would be a counterexample to prove that um, my conjecture was to was false. Okay. All right. Now, last up, a theorem is a statement you can use to prove using a series of logical steps. And you will see theorems a lot in geometry. All right, so let's get into the meat. Introducing proofs. So a conditional statement is a statement that can be written in the form of if P, then Q. The most famous one, okay, and this is uh, what, what, it's, what it's about. If P is the hypothesis, Q is the conclusion. So Rene Descartes, he once said, I think, therefore, I am. Okay, so basically I'm thinking, so I'm alive. All right, if P, then Q. All right, so looking back at Algebra 1, we have properties of equality, okay? So if you add something to the left, you add it to the right, right? What you do to one side, you do to the other. You have seen these before. Going back into them, if you need to, just come see me, okay? I will tell you this. Um, the One of the most important properties um, in geometry, especially for proofs, is the reflexive property. That is uh, definitely something to note. Box it, and you're gonna see this a lot throughout the year, okay? So just remember, look at, take a look at all these, um, talk about them. If you're not sure, um, just go over it with me um, if you need to go back over it, okay? So you have seen these before. Um, transitive property, it's a little bit more interesting. Uh, if A equals B and B equals C, 
then A equals C. Okay, it, it jumps, it transfers over uh, to the other statement um, for any of those situations where the transitive property can apply. Okay, substitution property, um, if A equals B, then B can su be substituted in for A in any expression. So if A equals B and A plus C is there, well, that's the same as saying if B plus C was there because A equals B. Okay, so that's a substitution property and we use that quite often. All right, so linear pair, that's another definition we need to talk about. It's basically two adjacent angles. So if you notice angle three here and angle four here, share, sorry, my touch screen is on the fritz. So if you notice angle three and four are sharing the same straight line, which is 180 degrees. Now, since they're sharing them, okay, we can add them two together and we would get 180 degrees. So two angles form a linear pair if they are supplementary. So this is the linear pair theorem. So we have two angles, angles three and four, and they form a linear pair, uh, then they are supplementary. So supplementary again equals 180. If you remember complementary, complementary, um, it basically just equals 90. So that's something to note. All right, so example two, um, using a postulate or theorem to find the value of X in each figure. Basically, we're gonna use a T chart type deal with our statements on the left and our reasoning to the right. So this is the general setup. So statements to the left, and we got our reasoning to our right. There we go. All right, so let's see. We have a given. They gave us a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, they gave us this. They gave us RS. They gave us ST. So we can already go ahead and start setting this up. Now, we know that RT is the bigger line segment, but it's comprised of RS plus ST. Now, this is the uh, line segment addition postulate. Okay, one of the first postulates we learned. So notice how I set up the idea and I explain my reasoning, naming the postulate. Okay, no one will argue with me if I have that backed up. All right, so RT, we give it an algebraic expression. RS is an algebraic expression as x plus 2. So x plus 2. And we also have st, so that is 3x minus 8. So this was substitution. OK, that was substitution. All right, let's combine like terms. Let's start making this a little bit cleaner. Okay, so this is combine like terms. So notice I'm just explaining my logic um, as I'm going through. All right, so I'm gonna go further with my logic, step by step. I know it seems really tedious, but I guarantee it's also gonna help you save a lot of mistakes. So this was the subtraction property of equality. Okay, and then last but not least, I use the addition property of equality to get my answer. The Greeks used to do this. Sometimes they would say QED, which back then it means stronger than stone. Okay, no cracks, kind of like sincere, sincere, or sincerely, it means without fault or without cracks. All right, your turn number one. Same situation as the last example. Make sure you use, again, the T-chart with the statements and reasoning to your right. Example three, now it's a little different, but still we're gonna be using the good old fashioned, solid but true uh, proof setup, okay? So statements again, will be on my left and reasoning to the right. And for this situation, we are still finding X, but now the only difference is now instead of line segments, we have angle um, segments, okay? So they do tell us RST equals 
15 X minus 10 uh, degrees and that was given. You can also list this one as given and this angle as given. Some people, especially in college, we would write that in our first uh, couple steps to say it was given. But let's go ahead and start at the meet. We know that angle RST equals the angle of RSP plus the angle of PST. And this is because of the angle. Oops, ooh, wow. Apparently, if I hold it down in one spot too long, it just goes a little crazy. So that's something to note. I learned something just now about this. OK, there we go. So this is the angle um, addition postulate. So I'm basing all my work off this one postulate. That's why it's so important to remember these postulates. All right, so RST is written as 15x minus 10 degrees. RSP is x plus 25 degrees. Let me use parentheses so you can see the they're two separate angles. And 5x plus 10 for PST. All right, so this was good old fashioned substitution again. Good old subs. And now we're gonna go ahead and combine like terms to clean up our algebra. All right, so again, combine like terms. All right, let's go ahead and start cleaning this up a little bit more. And this was again the subtraction property of equality. So notice I'm paying attention to the logic. And I'm gonna go ahead and go a little further. And this was the addition properties of equality. And again, this is a parenthesis, there we go. And finally, last but not least, uh, we used the division property of equality. So all proved, all wonderful, based off the postulate. And then the algebra really just started kicking in. Okay, so that's something to look over and make sure you remember those. All right, your turn number two, same situation, just different uh, algebraic expressions. Okay, you're still just finding the value of x. And please, please, please use the statement and reasoning. Okay, thank you guys and have a wonderful day. Mathematical!